Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. OM Digital Solutions has just announced a new lens, the 20mm f1.4 Pro. I want to share some thoughts on that lens in this video. Let's do this! Here are some important disclaimers. OM Digital Solutions did not contact me. I have zero communication with them. I found out about this new lens, the 20 f1.4, at the same time with everyone else during the public launch. Obviously, I don't have the lens with me. I don't have a review sample. I don't think I'm going to get one anytime soon. And if I want one, I may need to buy it myself, which I haven't decided if I want to buy one or not. I have a lot to say about this lens. I'm sharing my opinion as a photographer, as an Olympus fan, and as a micro four thirds system user. The 20mm f1.4 Pro is the first product launched under the brand OM System. Olympus has just been rebranded to OM System one week ago. I've made a video to share my opinion on that rebranding. I'll put the link to the video up here. Please check it out if you have not done so. If you ask me, I think that the separate announcements made one week apart. One week ago, it was the rebranding announcement, and now the launch of a new lens, it doesn't make any sense. I think it will be a better decision for them to announce these two items together. Say that, oh, we have rebranded from Olympus to OM system, and look, here is a new product immediately, 20 f1.4 Pro lens under the brand OM system. I think that would have been more effective Obviously, looking at what happened last week during the announcement of the rebranding, the internet, the Micro Four Thirds and Olympus fans, they did not take it very well. The reaction was overall very negative. I think having a product attached to the rebranding announcement would have softened the blow. After Olympus has been rebranded to OM system, there were speculations running around saying that the cameras and lenses will change names as well. I'm very glad to see that the 20mm f1.4 Pro is still under the name M Zwickel Digital. To me, Zwickel is a very important name. I'm very glad that the OM Digital Solutions decided to keep that. It was the legacy from Olympus showing the excellence when it comes to optics. I'm not sure if OMD or PAN will be kept, but so far I'm very happy to see that at least the m Digital is still around. The 20mm f1.4 Pro is the first f1.4 lens from OM System or the Olympus m Micro Four Thirds lineup. The f1.4 makes perfect sense. Olympus already has plenty of f1.8 prime lenses and some excellent f1.2 Pro lenses. The f1.4 sits right in the middle for those who wish to have a little bit brighter aperture than f1.8 to work with, but they're not willing to spend that much on the f1.2 Pro lenses. And I acknowledge that the f1.2 Pro lenses, they are not cheap. Therefore, the f1.4 Pro lenses, that's the good solution. And I wish to see more f1.4 Pro lenses from OM System in the future. Hopefully, they'll be compact in build and yet at the same time maintain the level of sharpness and optical performance similar to the f1.2 Pro lenses. One common feedback about the Olympus f1.2 Pro lenses is that these lenses are too big and too heavy for Micro Four Thirds system. It goes against the philosophy of having a Micro Four Thirds setup being small, lightweight, easy to carry around, truly portable and compact. I admit the Pro lenses are not small, but honestly, after I've been using them for so many years, I don't think they are too huge. I think they are quite manageable, but I can see where everyone is coming from. We want smaller, we want more compact, we want lighter lenses, and yet they can still deliver fantastic results. I think that's where this f1.4 lens comes in. The 20 f1.4, it is so much smaller, it is half the weight of the f1.2 Pro lens, and yet, hopefully, it delivers the same performance. 
Looking at the specifications, I am not happy to see that the 20mm f1.4 Pro are missing two very important features, the manual focusing clutch and the lens function customizable button. I really don't understand. If they can put the manual focusing clutch in the 17 f1.8 and the 12 f2, both are non-pro lenses. Why can't they put the manual focusing clutch in the 20 f1.4? It doesn't make sense. Most Olympus Pro lenses have the manual focusing clutch and 20mm is the perfect lens for street photography. I think street photographers, especially those who do a lot of zone focusing, will really appreciate the manual focusing clutch and lens customizable button. The lens is not that tiny. It is not a pancake design. I'm sure there is a space to just fit in that button to customize it for whatever shortcut that can really benefit the photographer. One thing that I really appreciate about this new 20mm f1.4 Pro lens from OM System is the pricing. I think they got the pricing right. It is about half the cost of the f1.2 Pro lens. I know a lot of people are complaining that the f1.2 Pro lens is just ridiculously too expensive. It is breaching the territory of more expensive than full frame lenses. It doesn't make any sense. So the new f1.4 lens, I think it is just right. It is in the middle of f1.8 and f1.2. You, if you want something better than f1.8 lenses, it has wider ceiling, it has feathered bokeh. Obviously, the optical performance will be better. The f1.4 aperture is already brighter. So the 20 f1.4, you have to pay a little bit more than f1.8 lenses, but it is half the price of f1.2 Pro lens. And I think that makes so much sense. So what do I really think about the 20mm or 40mm equivalent focal length? I am a 25mm or 50mm equivalent shooter. I love the 50mm perspective and I think that anything wider than that is just too wide. I'm not a fan of the 35mm equivalent perspective. I think it is neither here nor there. If I want to go wide, I would go much wider like 28 or even 24 to capture more within my frame. But 40mm, I can see that it is in between 50 and 35. I can see how it is so attractive for a lot of photographers, especially street photographers. Ricoh has just come up with the latest GR3X, which has a 40mm equivalent lens. And if you look at Nikon, the ZFC, it has a prime lens, which, is, which was the 28F 2.8. If you put it on the APS-C sensor, it is 42mm equivalent. It is very close to 40. So 40mm is gaining popularity, especially amongst street photographers. For me, I've used the 40 mm equivalent focal length before uh, both the micro four thirds and full frame variant i've used the panasonic 20 mm f1.7 i'm not a fan of that lens not because of the focal length nothing wrong with the focal length it's just that that lens is unbearably slow in autofocus for me i do a lot of street photography i need to capture quick moments so the slow autofocus it caused me to miss shots so i'm not a fan of the panasonic 20 mm no offense i think it's a great lens a lot of people have taken fantastic shots with that lens if you love that lens good for you i've also tested the canon 40 mm f 2.8 pancake on a full frame camera and i do quite like the lens i think it is really versatile i think it is just right for street photography. It is a little bit wider than what I like. As I've mentioned, I truly prefer the 50mm perspective, but I can work with 40mm. I can see how in some situations, 40mm can appear a little bit more natural looking in comparison to 50mm. And I just can't wait to get my hands on the, the 20mm f1.4 Pro if I can somehow miraculously get it to really test it and do a review. But in the meantime, maybe I'll look around for a used Canon 40mm f2.8 or a Panasonic 20 f1.7 just to play around and see how the 40mm equivalent perspective works for my photography today. I have one last thing to comment on the launch of the OM System 20 f1.4 Pro. 
looking at the marketing campaign, the video that they have released, the kind of photographs that they're trying to push. No offense, I do think that the photographer that they chose is excellent. The outdoor adventure, wildlife kind of photography, they all look inspiring and all. But I think OM Digital Solutions, they have missed an important mark here. 20mm f1.4, I think that's just the right lens for street photographers. I think that's the perfect lens for documentary photography. And we don't see any documentary stuff or street photography being pushed for this lens. All we get is the same old song repeated on the loop for the past 10 years or more by OM Digital Solutions and the previous Olympus. They try to push this wildlife photography, this adventure photography. Again, no offense, if you're doing wildlife, you're doing all this adventure photography out in the open, great for you. Olympus obviously is the perfect system, but there are a lot of other photographers out there. There's a whole wide world outside of wildlife and adventure. There's people like me who take photos in the urban setting. We do street photography, we do portraits, we do urban landscape. And I do think that the 20mm is suitable for us. Why don't we see any documentary stuff? Why don't we see any street photographers being engaged for this 20mm F1.4's campaign? I think it deserves more exposure. I think you can tap into a different market. It is time for OM Digital Solutions to do something different, to go out from this usual cycle. If, trust me, if it works, if whatever they are doing, if it works, this target market, it would have worked years ago. Obviously, the results speak for itself. What happened to Olympus, I don't have to repeat. I think they should consider a different strategy. Street photographers, where are they? That's all I have to share about the new OM system 20mm f1.4 Pro lens. Do you agree with my thoughts? Or do you have anything to add? Please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Are you interested to get one yourself? For me, maybe I'll have to test one first and hopefully I can get my hands on one to do a full review and really test the lens. If you've liked this video, or if you've enjoyed my sharing, please consider supporting this channel. You can buy me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how I can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will help me to continue making content and publish them right here. Please give me thumbs up, subscribe, comment and share. I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs if you can. Bye-bye.